cut a hole here, the spade bit, put your holes for the screws, then get an old computer fan. This is from a Pentium 2 processor, this fan, works good for this. Then you get an old cell phone charger, I'd say 5 volts, so that the fan's not too noisy. And you just attach it to the black and red. Get the chip covered pretty good with the thermal paste. You don't have to go crazy. And then come over here. Got this tiny little heat sink in there. And I just smear that on there. This paste I put on this heat sink. Put the heat sink in there on the chip. Push it down firmly. And what I do here is. I have a small piece of copper wire that goes to this hole here that goes to the heat sink to hold the heat sink so to keep it from sliding out of place. Put the copper wire in to hold the heat sink. Now this thing's just sitting here on the desk, so even though I put the copper in there, it doesn't really the heat sink doesn't really move much. And plus, since it's under the plastic cover, that pushes down the heat sink a little bit onto the chip. Because you want it to have a little bit of force on it, but not too much that you crush the chip. And it's not the same size as the chip, but it doesn't matter because I've tested this thing already. And it works really good. The fan blows in here, so it keeps everything cool in there. Because this thing gets really hot without it. The yeah, plug for some reason burnt out, the transformer plug, so I'm replacing it with another one here from an old cell phone, an old, uh, I think it's an old flip phone, just 5 volts. You check on the motor, the amps, put the fan back on, connect the wires, tape up the wires, they can't touch each other and that's it.